All right, guys, it's Monday. Um, got a little farther than expected already because yeah, I wasn't even supposed to work on the truck. My kids, the kids' truck until uh, um, until today, anyway. So started pulling the uh, tranny out. Um, anyways, and uh, busted three knuckles. It's not as bad as it looks. It's just the wife wanted me to put bandages over them. They're just uh, three slices. It's like straight down all three knuckles. Um, anyways. So I'm going to the truck. Ugh. Jeez. Back is tight. Anyway, so we got all the starter disconnected out of there got all the lines off um, got all the starter or, uh, all the tranny bolts off this blue wire is the tranny temp wire oh. so got all these bolts off of the mount and there's a bolt way up there that's what caused my knuckles my knuckles hit the frame right here because I was trying to turn it dink so, uh, if you can see that anyways that's pretty sharp sharp frame anyways I just busted my knuckles on it um so yeah, basically we got all the lines off. That's a stock. That's a cooler line or a warm line. I don't know what they call it. On these first gens. Um, on the 12 valves. But anyway, so. Uh, yeah, so we dropped the drive shaft. The intermediate bearing, whatever you call it, center bearing. So we dropped that down. To remove the shock because to take all the exhaust out. Um, yeah, so this this is leaking here. This seal's leaking. Got a new seal there. This is leaking. We got a new O-ring for that. Um. Yeah, so. We'll get the tranny dropped off, dropped down tonight or today or tonight. Uh, replace the rear main seal. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yep, that's the plans. Uh, anyways. So it's kind of a pain. The lines, the cooler lines, were in the way. So we had to get the starter, drop the starter out to get those out. I think it's a factory stock starter because those bolts were, I don't know, the bolts were in there like I don't know, eighty something foot pounds. Um. So now I just gotta. I'm going to take this uh, cross member off here. So we're going to undo these two, these two, that one, and that one. And then we'll undo those two there, this one. Um, yeah, or maybe just all three. All of these, these three, one, two, three, one, two, and then three. So six bolts. Oh, looks like you got these two, two here. So eight bolts there. Two, four, six here. Just zip all this off. Put a jack under here. Um, slide the tranny back a little bit. And then uh, I'll have my the kid turn the uh, crank over. 
Turn the crank over so I can get all the uh, torque converter bolts off. I've got two of them loose, but... Yep. So, for the most part, pretty much... Uh, it's supposed to be a nice today. day today. Yesterday it was like 112. And it was hot. And then uh, today so far it's 89. Um, I don't think it's going to be all that hot. I think these are the seat brackets. Seat brackets. Oh man. I'm tired. Um. Anyways, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna just get in here and start getting dirty, I guess. Dirty again. Uh, I'm gonna try to wear some gloves this time. I gotta get that one bolt up at the bell housing. Ugh, so, anyways, got a lot of work on this truck to do to get it done before two weeks. Um, two and a half weeks, because I need to get all the front suspension done. Oh, I was under there, the control arm bushings are blown, the uppers, right here, oh, maybe not, from underneath they look like they're blown, but, um, yeah, maybe I'll just take the control arm, upper control arms off, order bushings for there, press some bushings in, press some bushings out, whatever. Um, we got to change. The steering shaft is going to be different. So, and all this suspension stuff is going to be all new stuff, so. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then... Onto interior. We bought interior paint stuff. Um, the Duplicolor vinyl and fabric. Uh, we got the black. And we got gray. So we're going to do a lot of it black and gray. Dashboard's going to be gray. Everything's going to be this color. The gray. And then like just some accent trim pieces. And then uh, adhesion promoter. Um, so this stuff I've been reading about. It's ideal for plastic, vinyl, and chrome interior and exterior. So um, we're going to be doing that on it. Um, so we're going to clean it with some TS TSP, I believe. Here. Yeah, TSP. Um, we're going to use TSP on all the plastics, so we'll set up a big cleaning container. Just basically going to have my kid disassemble the whole interior. Clean it all really good. Um, you want these cheap plastic bags to tear. They don't tear, but, but they'll tear on their own like nothing anyway so after we clean it and get all everything we're going to use some acetone on a rag to dry everything make sure everything's clear of oils and stuff um, we're also going to use acetone on the pusher intake system because we're just going to clear coat it so gloss gloss clear gloss clear um, what did I get this for? Oh, we're going to do a headliner. His headliner's falling. So sometime this week or this weekend, we're going to go get headliner material. This is just caulking for our windows because I guess there was a bunch of bugs coming in while I was gone. And a bunch of industrial purple cleaner and degreaser. So, whatever. Anyways, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of projects. 
Um, mainly what I'd like to do today is just get organized and get everything out that needs to be out and set it all up like per job. Um, what I need to do is have my kid go through all of it. You know, like all the suspension components, ball joints, steering stuff, all that stuff I want, like, in one spot. Um, even though we have, like, two or three sets of everything. Um, because AutoZone is dumb. And sorry if I offend anybody, or anybody's offended, but just AutoZone is just dumb um it's like when i bought the brakes or the brakes for my acura i was out there in colorado so it's not just certain auto zones it's their corporate place different stores all it's every store i've been to um where i bought the brake where i didn't where i exchanged my brake pads and rotors for my acura um they made me pre-order the rotors um because because they're a manual, so they're a bigger rotor, they're made by Brembo, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, so I had to pre-order them, I had to pay for them up front for them to order them, and then bring mine in to exchange them after they received them. So I did that, and the stupid guys, they gave me my money back, but it only gave me 80 something dollars, $39 a piece, which they're 56 bucks, 56 99 a piece. So he gives me my money back, it's $86 and something, and I, I tell him, I said, no, that's not right, they're like 56 bucks a piece, and he says, no, they're not, and so he showed me in the system, he's like, there you go, that's the price. I said, well, she charged me 117 bucks, 117 bucks is on my credit card, so I want 117 something back, and he says, no, it's because the price changed, from when you bought them, they were 56, and now we lowered the price to 39. I said, okay, not my problem, that's a warranty issue, so, basically, they gave me my $86 back, and I said, I said, okay, so they gave me $86, and then I still had an outstanding payment of like 50, I don't remember, 58 bucks or whatever it was, and so they had to go in, did some Mickey Mouse crap on their end on the computer, returned them, exchanged them, did them under warranty, then took them out of their system and gave me back the 56 something dollars back on my credit card. And I, I'm just like, I don't get it. Why don't you guys just refund my credit card transaction? Um, that was there, you know, it was there in the computer. It says that I bought two brake rotors at $117. So why don't you just return that? But anyways, I was there, we were there for almost two and a half hours dealing with it. <clears throat> um, because they were trying to tell me that because what I paid for them a long time ago, the price has changed, so now it's different. And I'm just like, no, it's, it doesn't matter. Warranty's a warranty. Um, but anyways, so yes, I still shop at BattoZone. I still will buy parts from them. And still have to exchange parts for them because I still have a warranty. But I'm just putting it out there that the AutoZone is, I don't know, maybe it's just certain people, but they're retarded. Anyways, so that's going to conclude this video, my little rant. Um, I'll get more onto the rant of AutoZone when I do the suspension because they screwed all that up. And they screwed up front timing cover gasket. They, they didn't screw it up, they just... They messed up on their end more than my end. They just shipped me used stuff. And then I called them saying, hey, it's used. Like someone put it in and then beat it back out because the threads were smashed. And then they sent me more stuff and then refunded me money. But anyways, whatever. It's it's all good. I, don't, I got enough parts to complete the job. Might even return some parts and say I didn't need them. Um, or just keep them. I don't know. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it. That's going to be concluding my video. I'm going to put some gloves on and start tearing into this motor. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.